But well, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation it released new details today on their use of force investigation underway right now in Chatham County. One man died after an hours long standoff with police Tuesday. Both the GBI and Chatham County Police say the man died after he was taken in custody for a medical condition. Well, today they identified that man as 65 year old Mark Stanton, describing him as irate when police showed up at the home on Fort Argyle Court for a man in a mental health crisis. The GBI says Stanton threatened to shoot officers if they didn't leave. That's when they say he barricaded himself in that home and officers called SWAT for backup. State investigators say officers kept trying to contact Stanton, but were not successful. Now they say the SWAT team used gas inside the home and then Stanton shot at officers, hitting police cars and nearby homes. After several hours, SWAT went inside the home and found Stanton holding a gun. They say he ignored officers and resisted arrest. Officers used, quote, less lethal weapons to get him in custody. Shortly after that, SWAT noticed he was unresponsive. Now, they attempted first aid, and Stanton was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The GBI is waiting on an autopsy results. Investigators say no officers fired their guns during this incident, and state agents are running, in a se are running into a separate use of force investigation. Right now, we're getting more insight into how Chatham County Police reacted based on the agency's use of force policies. Investigative reporter Max Deeknike walks, it, walks us through the basics. Yeah, hey Mike and Don. What we want to know after Stanton's death is what our investigators team looked into is whether Chatham County PD's standard operating procedures were. Specifically, we wanted to know how they are supposed to handle situations involving use of force and crisis intervention. It all started just after 1 o'clock Tuesday when Chatham County police say they were called to this home off Fort Argyle Court for a report of a man having a mental breakdown. According to their policy, crisis intervention officers are supposed to handle calls involving mentally ill people with great sensitivity because it can turn violent. Chatham PD and the GBI did not mention whether crisis intervention officers were on scene in their accounts of what happened that day. WTOC also followed up and asked them, but both both have said they will not answer our question. The PD's policy goes on to say if a crisis intervention officer is not available, they should take several extra steps to get someone with that training on scene to help. We also looked at the department's use of force policy after they said the man shot at them. Police responded with pepper balls. It says pepper balls may be used if it's unsafe for officers to approach a subject and also to control a suspect who is trying to assault an officer. It goes on to say that if pepper balls are used, EMS may need to be called and that the person hit by the pepper balls should be monitored closely for adverse reactions. And we'll have the links to those standard operating procedures posted with this story on our website. That's WTOC.com. Thank you, Max. WTOC will update you when the GBI releases more details about this investigation. And we are hearing from neighbors for the